Hey everybody, it's Jack with Jack's Long Care. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen some stuff about that. Um, I just picked up this, I guess it was a week or two ago now? Probably like a week ago, I think. But this is a Xmark Commercial 30. It's pretty much brand new. Um, just did the oil change on it. Got it all ready. Cleaned it up. Well, it's kind of dirty now because I've been using it for the past week or two. But, um, yeah, we picked this up. This has actually been great. Um, compared to that, which looks kind of puny compared to this. Um, but that, there's, I think the transmission's starting to get a little bit weak on it. But that's been a great power. That, that thing would probably start up right now. First pool, it hasn't been ran. Ran in like two weeks, I think, actually. So I don't know. I might just keep a 21. Let me know what you guys think. Have you need a 21 if you have a 30? I think it might be a good thing to have a 21 still. But uh, here's the Hustler. Just did a little change on that. That's at 150 hours. Runs good. That you haven't seen. I got that for free. And then I bought that for 20 bucks for parts. It's a 110. But the one, it's locked up but so i need a shaft for that one and a few other miscellaneous parts off of that so i got basically a weed whacker running for 20 bucks and then i had to do a clutch in it from the dealer and that was part of a lot of money like 100 bucks and parts um there's the hc 2020 out it's been running great lately i used that yesterday and then uh what else have we got in here I just picked up a pulse oil yesterday, a Fiskars one. The Fiskars stuff's really nice. I have Fiskars hand pruners and Fiskars loppers, and the Fiskars loppers cut through anything. Those things are great. Um, then I also picked up another one of these Razorback rakes. I love these rakes so much. Um, yeah, I've been buying a lot of Razorback stuff lately. Um, I have, I'll show you out here, here's a truck, um, yeah, so, I have a few Razorback tools now, I guess I got, it's only three, it's this rake, my other Razorback rake, and this turf edger, and the rest of the stuff is really Ames, I, I have that rake, I don't like it, that Ames rake. I've been buying this stuff because there's a lifetime warranty on it. Um, and then the AIM stuff, I think, has like a 15 year warranty. Does it say it on here, maybe? I don't know. It's sort of somewhere on there. It says it. This, is, this isn't looking too great, but whatever. It's a pitchfork. I, I almost bought a Razorback pitchfork, but I thought this one was a lot nicer than the Razorback. That's the only reason why I have it. I'm starting to kind of wish I bought the Razorback shovels. These are rusting, but if I have any issues, it's a warranty still. 15 years is, yeah, 15 year warranty. The tags are still on them. Um, and then I got a few spades, just Anvil one from Home Depot. Aim, this is all from Home Depot, but that's just like the cheapest one I sell, which is really weird I thought, cause no one really sells a flat shovel anymore in Home Depot at least besides Anvil. There might be an Ames one, but I'm not sure about that. Um, but we also got, this is everything from, I trimmed a bunch of bushes, I used this little giant, these things are heavy, um, yeah, I got the gas cans out here, do you guys leave your gas cans out on your trailer, because it's been a pain in the butt every time I've had to unload, so I started to leave them out of the trailer, this is something cool, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but, I got a, shock in there right shock right there uh, i just got what i got cables and locks and then a random hard rake i don't know what brand that is and then the ames shrub rake i really like shrub rakes garbage in here too i'll clean this out better i don't know but ames shrub rake um really the only company that at home depot these some depots i don't not a big lowe's person i like home depot better but 
Um, this is the only thing they really, it's the only shore break they have in the entire from Depot. Um, I felt it's kind of strange, but yeah, that brake's really handy. I found it really handy on a mulch job that I did. Um, just because it's like easier to get in the small areas to kind of rake out the mulch and lay it down. Um, but uh, yeah, I've been keeping this one inside because I just bought it, but. I'm also trying to, I, I put those hooks up. You guys probably can't see them. I put those hooks up over here for the pole saw. I probably should have put them closer together. But, uh, yeah, I might end up moving it closer together so I can throw, like, I have all these snow shovels laying around. I have a bunch of stuff that's out there. It's under, like, a sunroom, but I try to keep all my nice stuff separate. Even though I leave all that stuff out there year round. Actually, I take them in in the winter, but um, here's the bag and the uh, side discharge cover. I don't have the chute, so I'm just going to take this off and run without this and see how that goes. I, I don't use chutes on this mower. I have a chute on this, but I don't know. The chute, I feel like chute stuff, I feel like you just take it off, it kind of lays it down and makes it look a little bit nicer. But, uh, yeah, I also have the bag, I think I said that, but I've never had a bag for this mower. I wish I had a bag at times. So I'm really curious to see how that does. I think it, feel like that would come in pretty handy during the fall. And that's got mulching blades on it. It's factory, I think. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't really made a video a lot lately. It's kind of a... Actually, this isn't a mess. This is clean compared to what it was because of how busy I got a few weeks ago. But, um, oh yeah, also, if you notice, everything out there has red duct tape on it. I've been kind of starting to do this thing now with all of it. It's on the pole saw, too. You probably can't see it from here, but it all has red tape on it, so I know that it's mine. I probably should take, like, a, I have a Sharpie over here. I should probably take a Sharpie. I've also just been writing JLC on everything for Jack's long hair. I don't know. I have, I have silver Sharpies, but um, I think I have a black Milwaukee marker in there. I have also have like a cheap template I've made, and I've been spray painting JLC on this is full of mulch right now on trash cans and stuff. And then two wheelbarrows. There's one on that, and then on the other side, there's some that says JLC too. So, uh, yep, there's a bunch of mulch from a, left over from a mulch job I did a few months ago, actually. I haven't really had any other mulch for myself lately. Mulch jobs for myself. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if I really ever talked that much about that. That's a BG55. It's alright. Um, I'd rather use the backpack though. It's just got so much more power um, compared to that. Uh, it's so much easier. I feel like that's, this is so much easier to start than that too. Um, but yep. All right guys, well, uh, that's just a quick little update of my crazy mess of equipment in here. But uh, thanks for watching. See ya.